welcome to Ella. Ella is a town in this hilly regionist area in Sri Lanka. We hop back into our maniac driver car and we zip up all the way up the hills into Ella. That was about almost a three hour drive. Our driver, again, was driving like a maniac, like zipping in between tuk-tuks and scooters. Literally, I was holding Yeroon's hand in the back. We made it alive. Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Trains are the only thing on our minds as we explore and take an epic ride through the countryside of Sri Lanka. Is that a Dutch thing to do to hike in flip flops? Um, my dad, he is hiked on glacier or something. Yeah. My mother was really afraid he would die. <laughs> in flip flops. In flip flops. <laughs> I was just like la la la. la. <laughs> so our tuk tuk driver dropped us off in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> We're supposed to go to a bridge called the Nine Arch Bridge. This right here is one of the engineering marvels of the early 20th century. This bridge, which is almost a hundred years old, has been built with blocks of stone and cement without any straightening iron or concrete. The giant arches take the bridge on a curved path to link to the mountains. This is the cool bridge that we can walk across the train tracks. This is your room. Please don't jump, hun. I love you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. His face. Your face. Our face. Also known as the bridge in the sky, when construction work commenced on the bridge, World War I began between the empires of Europe and the steel assigned for the bridge was reallocated to Britain's war-related projects. As a result, the work came to a standstill, leading the locals to build the bridge with only materials at hand. The train is coming! The train is coming! And we jumped off just in time! <laughs> we found... The Molotov. Walking from the Nine Arches Bridge back to Ella Town is about two hours. That's not including a 30 minute hike down to the bridge where we pass through the tea plantations in the jungle. Ella is popular among many people for its eco liveliness and the calm countryside atmosphere. And this place adds to its serenity. It was day 43. You found this tape. Oh my god. We are it was so dangerous. We're so Look at those. Monsters. We're really hungry. We have no water. Look, there's someone in the bushes there. <laughs> Actually, it's just day three of Sri Lanka, and we're in the highlands. Still quite hungry. Yeah, we're actually really hungry. We actually made it back to civilization. Never been so happy to see a railway station. The next day. After exploring all day on the train tracks, we're now riding them ourselves. This is the legendary Ella to Candy route, where we go literally into the heart of the country. No travels in Sri Lanka would be complete without an experience like this. Just make sure you have a window seat. I love him! Him! I'm gonna marry him! Him! So the train was late for about 40 minutes and that was fine. I mean, we're yeah. in Sri Lanka and the weather's beautiful and gorgeous so we didn't mind waiting. And now we're on this six and a half hour train ride through the hillsides, the tea plantations of Sri Lanka. It's just such a really cool experience. And I get to do this with the person that I love. Oh, shit. This famous train journey from Ella to Candy is often described as the world's most scenic and a definite bucket list item. 
The journey is a long six hours for only less than two euros. There's just something special about spending a few hours mixing with locals, hanging out the train door, and being mesmerized by the passing tea plantations and picturesque hilltops, rural villages, and forests whizzing by. Uh, two this and two smosas. I think these hawkers selling homemade snacks on the train is as close as you can get to street food in Sri Lanka, and we get the best country views with our bikes. As the train shakes, rattles, and rolls its way through, we're unbelievably picturesque, and the landscape got progressively more breathtaking as the journey went on. Every time the train turned a bend, it was almost unjustifiable to soak it all in. How is this real in the world? So we had a little detour. The train tracks just stopped in that town and it was under construction. So that explains the bus that we had to take and getting seats on the bus was hectic, fighting for seats basically, but I managed to get a seat and then you were to take care of the bags. And now we're back on the train and we're back to going to Candy. These tasty samosas are flaky and crispy from the outside with a delicious potato and pea stuffing. Oh yeah, and they know what the real definition of spicy means. Sri Lanka's railway system is a product of the British colonial rule and it can be traced back to the mid 19th century. Alright, so we have just arrived in Kandy after our 9 hour train ride which was supposed to be six and a half hours, so it was quite a long train ride. But I'm really glad to be made it into the heart of Sri Lanka. Now we just hop into a tuk-tuk and off we go. So we're heading off to our accommodation now to rest up for the rest of the night. Right. If you guys like this video, I uh, hope you guys did. That was an epic train ride. Probably the one of the best train rides I've ever had in my life. Leave a comment about your favorite train ride. I would love to hear about it because you know I have a name for trains. And click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in...